Hi Leo, this is your reading for the 9th to the 15th of March 2020 and I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're all well and if you're new please subscribe and hit the bell. If you don't want to be notified then just subscribe please then it will be saved in your uh, library and then you can find the channel back I'm going to do first of all a crystal ball reading this is a smoky quartz ball and have a look if you can see anything in there for yourself and I've got to clean it as well because I've used it for all the signs remember it is a general reading this so if it doesn't resonate with you then please uh, go to your moon sign or your rising sign you can also find information underneath this video like the email address the website and uh, uh, more description about the video itself so have a look okay that is clean enough it's sparkly and just neutralizing the energy from cancer now um, uh, this is the first uh, I've had this crystal ball from my sister so this uh, smoky quartz comes from the Himalayas and uh, it's so it's pure it's not uh, synthetic it, uh, stones have got healing problems, uh, uh, um, uh, not problems, have healing uh, energy and this is selenite and this is also a healing stone and it's she gave it to me because of my whiplash and of course I have my angel that was given to me by uh, Brenda from Brenda Tarot Readings so go and have a look at her channel you can find her on my main page and it, that link will take you straight to Brenda's website so let's get started Leo light okay let's have a look you have been quite busy what have you been up to ah have you been meditating or um, contemplating because I can see in this far corner uh, a prism uh, a prism means rays color it's like a rainbow and I see that you are opening your solar plex your feelings you're open you are beginning to enjoy life a little bit more you've had a heavy period and you're taking care of yourself um, you have discovered if you don't take care of yourself nobody else will and you can't take care of others or if you don't love yourself you can't love somebody else after all you I like I said you uh, it's not been a smooth road for you um, I also see a mountain um, so it's been a battle for the last couple of weeks uh, or even months um, it, you you have gone come down it's like if you've come down after Christmas and everything has been uh, feels like a struggle or slow um, yeah ups and downs mm, I also see that you've been contemplating sitting thinking pondering about something um, I also see a bird you might have had some news that wasn't very pleasant news and that's put you into a swirl because I also see a swirl like a fog but the fog is lifting now the fog is definitely lifting have you been thinking of moving home or immigrating to another country as I also see uh, dispersion 
dispersion. Dispersion is like a mirror that shatters in pieces, little pieces. You've been spreading your, yourself too thinly. You're tired. Your, your energy level um, has to come back up and it is coming back up now. Like I said, I see a mountain. You've been going in a triangle from one place to another place to another place but still having the feeling that you're treading old water. You aren't also dispersing is not only that you spread yourself too thinly but you've um, been trying to perhaps network do multi-level marketing perhaps you've been busy with that um, billing, building a solid rock around you. There is a new beginning coming though um, there's, it, it is just around the corner, like I said, I see a corner. Um, and uh, that you could be traveling or you could be immigrating, moving home or going on holiday. And I, th I feel it is southern, southern, that is what's coming up to me. I would even say chilly, but I also see a mask, be careful of people wearing masks. I also see a monster, a scary face. So be careful of negative people. Be careful. Um, if you've done good, it will come back to you threefold. So, and if anybody's done you good, they will get their karma as well. Also, good news coming up. You're as solid as a rock. It's like you've been, I see like a foundation here. I see that you have put down a foundation and you've been building on that, but you've been going around in circles or in a triangle. Perhaps a third party was annoying you that didn't carry their weight. That is what I'm seeing here. And you're fed up with people not caring enough and to participate in group work. It feels as if you have been carrying this burden around with you and that's why you're pulling away. You are going, you've built a foundation for yourself and for anybody that will join, uh, you are making sure that they will pull their weight. You don't want any more divisions. You want a solid group so that you can build together and for each other and for yourselves. Okay, you might also be going on holiday if you're not immigrating. Travel is imminent and I feel that this travel has also got to do with work, like networking. You might actually go and meet somebody down south. Okay, let's leave it there and I'll put the crystal ball away and now I'm going to start with your card readings. Um, I've got the Angel Feather card and then we have the Metatron card. Those are the Oracle cards I'll be using and I'm going to use the Enchanted Dream Tarot and today it is International Woman's Day and this deck is profoundly um, touching on the feminine side and the woman itself, from representing their love, their passion, their nurturing nature and their beauty and sensuality. Here you can see it is the women. The men are either masked like the kings, they have left their throne on the crown on the throne. So I'm going to start shaking these um, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. And I will be taking these out. You've got the Four of Pentacles on Monday. And then I'm. Uh, you've got the Nine of Cups. This one is sticking out, so I'm going to take that as well. That's the Three of Pentacles, and I'll take the bottom. And you've got the Lovers. Now, getting the cards ready 
uh, we have a look at what we've got underneath. We've got the devil. What did I say? Poisonous people, evil people, masks. So that could have been the devil. There might be somebody around you that is quite negative. Stay away from those people, please. Now we're going on to my quirky little house of shadows. And this deck is by Monica Bodersky and it is um, it's a quirky deck it's a she's got humor she's a beautiful artist very simple but it gets the message across and even more there is a review out there so go and have a look at the review if you like if you love the Adams family then you will love these cards and you've got the house that's what the house looks like eerie ghosts and everything it definitely looks like the house of the Adams family okay and then you have the bear he's been coming out rapidly more so than any other card okay let's have a look then you've got the clover and he's come out several times as well okay this one is sticking out and we've got the mountains the mountains and underneath the deck we have ancestors there are five car five extra cards in this deck and I, there are extra meanings uh, besides the basic meaning and I've got of course also my um, intuition and my psyche that I um, use Okie dokie. Now we're going to go for the reading. Okay, on Monday the 9th you have the Four of Pentacles. And you know what the Four of Pentacles mean. Look at the pentacle right across her chest. Her heart is closed. Her solar plex is closed. She's closed her mind because she's also got a coin on top of her head and she has closed herself off from the energy the divine from the universe from the angels from other people so if you have closed yourself off then please open your solar plex and your heart and your mind you might get new ideas that will be of use to you the four of pentacles basically means if you, you are holding on to things, you're holding on to money, that is what it means in the traditional tarot. But you might be holding on to memories, you might be holding on to a person. Whoa, so be careful. You have, might have closed off to the outside world in general because you might have split up or lost a friend. This could be um, a, a person that was dear to you that's gone across and you feel hurt and confused so that's why you've closed yourself off but remember if you close yourself off against pain you are also closing yourself off um, towards beauty Leo okay and uh, you don't want that you want to open up and you just do it gently um, open yourself up open yourself up and enjoy life have laughter let love and positivity come in let also new ideas come in if you've been spending too much money yes tighten up those purse strings and if you haven't been spending money then make yourself more attractive nurture yourself take care of yourself love yourself if you don't love yourself and you don't project that then nobody else will this card is also saying you might be holding on to something so let go if it um, let it go and when it goes and it stays away then it's not meant for you if it stays with you then it is meant then you are meant to be um, or it belongs to you or they meant to be with you that could also be holding on to a person and we do have the devil at the bottom of the deck 
and that can be codependency and codependency they could be codependent on you as well <clears throat> excuse me codependency is um, an addiction is also a bad habit um, the, the traditional meaning for the devil means that it could be uh, addictions like drugs and smoking and other things that are addictable but I look further than that it could be that you could be addicted to shopping <laughs> and then you've been spending too much money so if you have a bad habit or if you've got an addiction try to seek help or change it if you can it's very difficult to change habits or uh, addictions and it could be somebody else that has addictions or bad habits that are codependent on you okay or they might be manipulating you nobody must tell anybody else what to do and play the boss it should be in a partnership it should be equilibrium balanced give and take we've all got our own lives and we've got a life together with our partners now on the four of coins uh, you have the house so that could be also a bad habit you could be isolating yourself and not going out there to protect yourself to shut yourself off that's the same sort of message you feel safe protected and um, uh, safe protected and secure at home you are shutting yourself away don't go out there and make new friends and be careful of manipulating or people with bad habits don't let anybody manipulate you or boss you about be your own person stand in your strength there are beautiful times coming along because you've got the nine of cups and the nine of cups is your wish card so big time this is the first time it's come out I think I'm pretty sure and you're the only one so times are going up again so happy families reunion with family and friends especially if you come out of your isolation oh this is magic this is really magic why because this is your wish card and your goal card you've come to an end of a cycle an end of a phase you're ready for a new beginning and this bear you can see that this bear is hibernating he's sleeping but you're coming out you're coming out you are taking note of what is being said here not to isolate yourself to make new friendships so the nine of cups is your wish coming true and happy times somebody might have been drinking too much and you've overcome that problem so take heat don't fall back back to old habits you've got the star you've got the angel feathers there are signs you can come out of hibernation you can defend yourself perhaps somebody is also jealous around you could be jealousy because you are a strong person and get standing your ground opening yourself up coming out of your isolation breaking away from bad habits or manipulation some people are jealous because they are losing control the bear can stand his ground protects what is dear to him and what he loves he's a big body a big thing a big animal so you can't budge him so if somebody's jealous walk away luck is on your side because the bear also means luck and it's number 15 and number 15 it becomes a six so you're back in balance and you've got number four proper foundations you have found your own foundations so go for it then you've got the three of Pentacles look at that you've got recognition ooh, ooh, ooh. somebody uh, has noticed you somebody's giving you recognition perhaps they want to employ you perhaps you're getting more clients for your business and you've got 
the clover and the clover in this deck has a money sack just look at that and again it's tied to the clover so there's more money coming in and you've got two dots here and I suppose that's the flowers of the clover but it also looks like ice to me so watch that money coming in and she's holding it on to it by string <laughs> so I think there's more money and luck coming in but don't you can hold on to it but put it in a safe place open yourself up for luck okay you're in balance you've got a four you've got a two partnerships okay could be in love but I think it's more in business and then you've got the lovers and it could be in love like I said again you can see the man here he's got his back turned so there's no face of a man in this deck lovers means that you might meet a Gemini you might partner up with a Gemini Leo and there could be problems or issues at hand that you have to overcome to be together it could be your soulmate okay as you have the lovers but you've got two and really a lovers is two because it's two people it takes two to tango but it's number six in the deck and you've got number six here so you're in balance in harmony you know what each other wants number 21 becomes a three so there is creativeness uh, around to create plenty again number three so you've got two sixes two twos and two threes so two three and six is a prominent a prominent uh, number again number six for the ancestors 42 you are going to be back in balance at the end of the week and it's clear to you what you want and there is no more obstacles now I remembered from the reading from the crystal ball I, I think I said I saw a triangle here is your triangle your mountains don't think of everything as a monster be conscious though uh, like this is the mouth and these are the eyes of a monster don't make a mountain out of a molehill don't see boogie men or boogie monsters all over the place you don't have to climb the mountain you can take your own time and walk the path awesome awesome I love it the way the reading comes together now uh, the end of the deck of the Lenaman you've got ancestors and perhaps you might uh, be creating a legacy perhaps you want to leave something behind remember where you come from you are a bit of your ancestors because all the genes get passed down okay I love the way it is depicted you are what you come from so be proud of that and make that legacy remember the people around you and remember your roots answers is 42 like I said it is a six it is a legacy here you are hard at work perhaps you want to become the eight of coins that is also the card of legacy now is the time to consider what it is you are leaving behind as evidence of your earth walk is it your relationships a book your artwork or assisting others look toward look to inward and to surround cards uh, in your spread to assess your legacy and work relentlessly to achieve your chosen goals okay so look around um, you want to clear up pro problems you want to have a beautiful relationship that is what is around this card and you want to leave negative people situations and issues behind you you want to gain the knowledge and perhaps help a third parties um, third parties perhaps you would like to teach 
third parties or guide third parties, become a life coach or be a social worker to help people get themselves back into balance. That will bring money into the draw as well. Your wish is coming true. You've been thinking about it whilst you've been sitting peacefully or sleeping and remembering your dreams. You're coming out of isolation. That is where you're going to. You're going to reach the summit. You are ambitious. You've worked hard for that and luck is on your side. Okay, Leo, good luck and I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Please share this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. Remember, together we stand strong. You are part of the channel. Um, my cyber angels and appreciate you sharing and liking and coming in and giving us the thumbs up you make the channel as much as I do I hope you've enjoyed the crystal reading please visit the VIP site and please leave a reaction what do you think about the crystal ball reading thank you take care and be blessed have a wonderful week mm -hmm.